got a new project coming out. Can you tell us about Dream Moms, your character, and what attracted you to this project? Um, so Dream Moms is a story about two moms who revisit their lifelong and childhood dreams of becoming Broadway uh, stars. And um, they put those dreams aside to become moms. A lot of a lot of moms can relate to that. Yeah. And, and then, yeah, they, they get to revisit it. So it's super exciting for them. Um, and what drew me to Claire is, I think, just the fact that it's relatable to me and so many other mothers. And I thought it would be a really different, cool story to tell. And then also I used to be a dancer. So yeah. there was a little bit of close to home <laughs> in that for me. <laughs> You know, Claire is this incredible woman who's who always puts her sons first, and you were raised by a single mother as well. Did you channel your own mom and her experiences into this performance? Yeah, you know, I was raised by a single mom, and I was also a single mom for um, a period of my life. So I took a lot from both. Um, and there was like certain little moments where I, I came up with a couple ideas of things to add because they were just um, really true to real life and they mm. did well in the story. So yeah, I definitely think that that helped me bring Claire to life for sure. Earlier, you shared on social media that this has been one of the most physically demanding roles since make it or break it. What was that training process like getting ready for this film and how did that physicality allow you to tap into Claire's shoes? Well, Hallmark came to me with the script and then said, but, but can she dance? And so I threw myself back into a dance class and I was like, can I? Like I, I grew up dancing. Um, but yeah, um, it was amazing because like Claire, she, Claire is very nervous to get back into dance class for the first time. And then she does it and she starts out a little awkward, but um, falls in love with it again. And I felt the same way. Like I went into a dance class and I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> and then, and then I, I, I found that love again. And, and then training, we had an amazing choreographer, Melina, who we both, Tamara and I felt very safe with because she knew that we, you know, were putting our shoes back on and um, yeah, it was physically and it was challenging, but it was so much fun. Yeah, it looks great on film as well. You know, speaking of Tamara, there's a beautiful friendship that forms between your two characters. How were the two of you able to build that bond necessary for this film? Tamara and I, we clicked right away. We just, she felt like a soul sister the minute I met her. Mm -hmm. She's such a bright spirit and, um, and we're both moms. So I think that helped, yeah. And there's also a beautiful line in the film that everybody needs a cheerleader in their corner. Who are the people in your own life who've been on this journey with you? My mom and my sister are my best friends, as cheesy as that sounds. Um, they truly, like, we talk five or ten times a day on the phone. So they are always my cheerleaders. And then my husband and my kids. You know, Jessica Hartman directed this film and she has experience in front of the camera as well. What was that collaboration like? Is there a different shorthand that's developed when you're working with a director who who's also acted as well? Yes. The last two directors I've worked with were uh, Jessica and then Ali Liebert. And that was on the Holiday Sitter. And both of them are Vancouver they're both former and still actors. Um, and there's something so special about that because they approach everything in a different way. Like they know what mm. you're experiencing as an actor. They bring different uh, ideas to the table because they understand your process. So I love working with not only females, I love working, you know, either way, but if somebody's been an actor before, it's great. It's also uh, Hallmark's first film in her Make Her Mark programming. What does it meant for you to be a part of that milestone? Has it inspired you to potentially direct in the future as well? Ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I felt honored to be a part of a movie that was honoring females just in general in such a special way, which is why I think it's such a great movie for Mother's Day. Um, yeah. Not only do we have Jessica and, and the theme of the story is obviously women um but our our camera operator was female and um oh, have I been inspired to direct so I I've written two shows I'm I'm on the writing side of things um and I've always thought about directing one day but we'll see we'll see what happens yeah
Yeah, and there's so many universal themes that this film tackles. Was there one in particular that hit home for you? Oh, I think just in general, as a mom, you can often put yourself last, as cliche as it sounds, it really is true. Women often mm. are so um, just focused on their kids and making sure that they're the best for their kids. And I think the beautiful silver lining in all of this story is that you truly are a better mother if you take care of yourself. Like mm. it really is the truth. And I found that in my own life, you know, if I'm going to an exercise class or going for a hike or, or just doing anything I can to find that little bit of self-care, um, I'm able to show up for my kids tenfold. So yeah, I think that that is a really strong part of the story and it's an important story for a lot of women to be reminded of. Yeah, great answer. And this is a film that there's something for everybody when it comes out on Mother's Day weekend. Is there a particular scene that you're really excited for your fans or audiences to see? Ooh, how do I answer that without giving it all away? <laughs> um, I feel like you're tricking me. <laughs> um, you know, I think no, there's not one specific scene. I think just the 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 story gears up towards the end and the journey getting there is such a fun journey to watch. I would say when um the characters really start to jive and and find what they're magic is together that's really mm. really cool yeah you're such a dynamic storyteller as you look ahead what's left on your your bucket list on my bucket list um well like I said I really love writing so that's a journey that I want to keep um I want to be on I recently had two kids in 20 months um so now I'm able to like the story kind of put myself um ahead again and mm. and some of those things that I started doing and I want to I want to keep doing so telling stories on the other side of the camera is definitely something that I see in my future. Mm -hmm.